Hi everyone. Uh, it's Wednesday and uh, we are doing our last lesson for the week on subtraction. And uh, the reason for this is because tomorrow you've got a disco, which is so exciting. So you won't be having maths tomorrow. And then on Friday, you have a catch up day. So anything you don't do or anything you feel like you need to have a bit more of a practice with, that Friday is the day that you can do that. So you've just got a little bit of extra time to get through any of your work. But if you've done everything, there's some optional extra activities for you if you like, or you can just have some downtime. It is up to your parents what you do. Um, whatever is easiest for them is what we want for you. Okay, so. Okay, we are learning to use and record a range of mental strategies to solve addition and subtraction problems involving one and two digit numbers. Uh, we can be successful in this if once we can bridge back to 10, we can split numbers into smaller parts, we can use place value to partition numbers, we can choose and apply efficient strategies for subtraction, and we can show our working strategy um, and work our working out. Okay. Uh, subtra our subtraction word wall, we continue to use these words each day um, in our learning. All right, today we have a game for you. So you're going to use the game board to write the number rolled on a dice, or you can turn number cards over from one to six or one to nine, um, depending on how challenging you want it to be. So to play this game, write a number sentence. Use the strategies we have used to solve the number sentence. So you can use the strategies that we've used all week. Um, so you might want to have your hundreds chart out, your number lines and counters, things like that to help you with this. Um, and then just do as many as you can. If it takes you more than 20 minutes, you can stop. You can always add to it on Friday, okay? So basically, just want you to try some of your strategies and see which ones you feel more comfortable with. Um, so on here, it, it's got two digits and one digit. So it shouldn't be too challenging for you. So you might actually get through quite a few. So, um, so you'll have to roll two dice the first time and then just one on your second roll to make your number sentences. Because of course, we have to have our two digit number at the front. That's how we want our, our larger number. When we're subtracting, our whole number has to be our, our larger number. And then we have a smaller number to subtract, okay? Okay, um, so next we're going to choose one of the following number sentences below to complete the think board or try all three if you want to have a bit of a challenge. Okay, so we've got um, draw a picture. So you can uh, draw a picture of your number sentence over here. Okay, um, so you might rewrite the number sentence but using pictures. So 20 dogs and 12 um cats, I don't know, whatever you want to do, you can draw your number sentence there. And then we can write our number sentence here, show it on a number line. So you might like to write all of the numbers. This is a blank number line. So you might like to write the numbers on there to make it easier for you to solve, or you might use the number line in our pack. That's no problem if you want to do that and take a photo. Um, we've got a 20 frame as well. And you can just draw on your 20 frame. So draw your number sentence on there. Um, and we've also um, got our part and whole number. So you would put your larger number. So if my number was 25, let's say. Okay, we have to put the parts and the whole. So I might do it by 10. So I might say five and 10, depending on what my number was. If my number was a different number, um, if it was 25 minus um, six, 
then I might put 6 on one side and I might put the other number on the other side when I've solved my number sentence. So if I was counting back, I'd count back to 5 and then I've got one more, so 20, 19. So my other number will be 19. So 19 plus 6 equals 25. So that's our part and our whole number. Okay, so there are just some ways that you can fill it out. Then we've also got our bridging strategy exit slip. So solve the number sentence below. This one is for the kids to try on their own, please. So it doesn't matter if we get this wrong. It's just a little bit of practice and it shows your teachers how you've gone with this activity. So 25 take away nine. So we're going to use our bridging strategy here and you can draw it on a piece of paper if you wish, um, or you can, um, use some other options that I've got for you, which you'll see in a minute. Um, partitioning numbers or split strategy. So we're going to model this. So solve the number sentence below. This is what, again another one for the kids to try on their own without any help. Use these objects to help you sort into tens and ones. So I've modeled this before for you. Um, so the main question is 45 minus 13 equals so there, um, that's the one that I've got there for you. However, if you want an easier option, that's no problem. You can go and do 22 minus 12 and use the templates there provided for you. All, um, all draw them on a piece of paper. And the other one, the optional harder option is 85 minus 23. So you can just do the one that's been set for you, but if you want to have another option, that's available to you as well. Okay, so now it's your turn to go and do all of these things that I've shown you. So number one, play the game. And then number two, try the think board. Number three is your bridging um, exit slip, so bridging to 10. So I want you to do this on your own. Your parents can read it to you, but please, I want you to try this one on your own and take a photo so that we can see how you went. Number four, complete the split strategy exit slip. Exactly the same, your parents can read it to you, but I would like to see how you go at doing this now. Um, so you can complete all the activities on a piece of paper and take a picture, or you can print these activities out if you wish, um, but, but I really don't think that you need to print them out. I think we can just do that on a piece of paper, but I am very excited that we're going to have a jam board for this activity. Um, so directly in your Google Classroom, you can access this um, and do it all on the computer. So you won't um, need to do your exit slips on a piece of paper and you won't need to do the activities on the piece of paper. The only thing that you will do on, um, on a piece of paper is your game for today. Um, but for the exit slips, you can actually do those all on the Jamboard. Um, and I will... If you haven't been told about it yet on the Monday Zoom, then I will speak to you about it on the Wednesday Zoom. Um, and or I probably I should have already spoken to you by the time you've watched this video if you're watching it on Wednesday. So anyway, I'm very excited about that. I think it'll be a really great way for you to complete these tasks um, and and make sure that there's no printing for anyone. But anyway. If not, um, that's okay, you can do it on paper. And um, I hope you go really well with these activities. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, and yeah, I'll speak to you soon, bye.